this lesson, we will be discussing equations of lines. Let us recall that the equation of a line with slope m and y-intercept 0, b is given by y equals mx plus b. The coefficient of x is the slope and b is your y-intercept. Suppose we want to find the equation of a line with slope negative 2 and y-intercept 5. This just means that m is negative 2 and your b is 5. Hence, the equation is y equals negative 2x plus 5. The equation of a line in its general form is given by ax plus by plus c equals 0. This just means that one side of the equation is 0. Here are the special cases of the general form of a line. If you have a vertical line, the equation is x equals a constant. And for a horizontal line, the equation is y equals a constant. Why are these special cases? This just means that you have 1 times x plus 0y minus k equals 0. Your a is 1, your b is 0, and your c is negative k. For a horizontal line, your a is 0 because no x is appearing. Your b is 1 minus c equals 0. Let us find the equation of a line which is 5 units to the right of the y-axis. This means that our line is a vertical line, 5 units to the right. So this is the line, x equals 5. What about number 2? A line 10 units below the x-axis. So it is always 10 units from the x-axis. So therefore, it is just a horizontal line. And what is the equation of this line? This is the line y equals negative 10. Let us now discuss the point-slope form of a line. The equation of a non-vertical line with slope m that contains the point x1, y1 is given by this one. This is saying that the equation is given by y minus the y-coordinate of the point that is given is equal to the slope times x minus the x coordinate of your point. Suppose that your slope is 3 and it passes through the point 1, 1. We can use the point slope form to get the equation of the line. From here, the equation is y minus the y coordinate of your point, that's 1, is equal to the slope, which is 3 times x minus the x coordinate. Let us have some more examples. Let us find the equation of a line in the following. A horizontal line containing the point 3, 2. Let's imagine our line. This is the point 3, 2. It's a horizontal line passing through 3, 2. So this line. What is the equation of a horizontal line? The y-coordinates are always equal to 2. So hence, it's y equals 2. Next, line with slope 3 and passing through the point negative 3, 2. You're given the slope and you're given the point. So we can use the point-slope form. So we have y minus the y-coordinate of 2 is equal to the slope times x minus the x-coordinate, negative 3. Or if you want, you can simplify that as y minus 2 equals 3 times quantity x plus 3. You can also write this in slope-intercept form. We get y is equal to 3x plus 9 plus 2, so that's y equals 3x plus 11. Next, you have a slope of negative 2 and x-intercept of 5. When you have an x-intercept of 5, that corresponds to what point? That corresponds to the point 5, 0. Because your x-intercept is the point where it 
intersects your x-axis. This is the point 5, 0. So our slope is negative 2. So the line is y minus the y-coordinate is equal to the slope, which is negative 2 times x minus the x-coordinate. So hence the equation is y equals negative 2x plus 10. If we are given two points, we can also get the equation of your line. Take note that y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, this is simply your slope. So actually, this is the point slope form as well. It's just that you're not given the slope. But to find the slope and you are given two points, you just use the slope formula. So for instance, we want to find the equation of the line passing through these two points. I will just use the point slope form. Our slope is rise over run. So that's 5 minus 2 all over 4 minus negative 3. So that's 3 over 7. This is our formula for the point slope form. Now remember that when you are using the point slope form, you have to make sure that you're only using one point. So in this example, I will be using the point 4, 5. So I will have y minus 5 is equal to the slope of 3 over 7 times x minus the x coordinate of 4. Let us simplify this. We have 3 over 7x minus 12 over 7 plus 5 is equal to y. When we simplify, we get 3 over 7x plus 23 over 7. For this case, I use the point 4, 5. Now let us just check. If we will still get the same graph if we use the point negative 3, 2. So we have y minus the y coordinate of 2 is equal to our slope is still 3 over 7 times x minus the x coordinate. So that's minus negative 3. So we get 3 over 7x plus 9 over 7 plus 2. That's y. Nine over seven plus two is also the same as twenty-three over seven. So hence we got the same equation even if we use different points. That should always be the case. You should get the same equation whether you use one point or the other point. You just have to make sure that you do not mix the x and y coordinates. If you use 4, 5, you use 4, 5 in your formula. If you use negative 3, 2, you use negative 3, 2 for your formula here. Next, let us consider the intercept form. The equation of a line with x intercept a0 and y intercept 0b is given by this one. x over the x intercept plus y over the y-intercept is just equal to 1. So for example, you want to find the equation of the line with x-intercept negative 3 fourths and y-intercept 5. Using the intercept form, it says that the equation is x over, this is your a, negative 3 fourths plus y over the y-intercept which is 5, and this is equal to 1. So it's just a matter of simplifying this. x over negative 3 fourths is negative 4x over 3 plus y over 5 is equal to 1. Let us multiply both sides by 15 to get rid of the denominator. We get negative 20x plus 3y is equal to 15. So in general form, I will just leave our answer in general form. This is negative 20x plus 3y minus 15 is equal to 0. Or you can also leave your answer in slope-intercept form. It doesn't really matter. They are all the same. 
Next, let us find the equation of the line that contains the point 2, negative 3 and is parallel to the line 2x plus y equals 6. Let us suppose that this is the point 2, negative 3. The line passes through the point 2, negative 3. And this line is parallel to this line. You don't really have to be exact, but let's just say that this line is 2x plus y equals 6, just so that you can imagine. Since these two lines are parallel, that means that they have the same slope. Hence, to get the slope of the required line, we just need to get the slope of this line. Let's write this in slope-intercept form. That is y equals negative 2x plus 6. So the slope of your line must be equal to negative 2. So this one, let's call this m1. And therefore, m2 must also be equal to negative 2. You pass through the point 2, negative 3. So you already know your slope. Is negative 2 and it passes through the point 2, negative 3. So hence, we use the point-slope form because we are given a point and the slope. So what is that? y minus the y-coordinate is equal to the slope, which is negative 2 times x minus the x-coordinate. So this gives us y plus 3 is equal to negative 2x plus 4. So hence, y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. This is the equation of our line. Next, let us find the equation of the line that contains the point 1, negative 2, and is perpendicular to the line x plus 3y equals 6. Just so that you can imagine, suppose that this is the line x plus 3y equals 6, and this is the point 1, negative 2. The line that we are looking for contains this point and is perpendicular to this line. So hence, our line is this one. This is 90 degrees. All right. So in order to get the equation of the line, we always need the slope. We do not know what that is. Let's call that slope M1. This is line 1. This is your line 2. You already know your point, point 1, negative 2. The line passes through that point. Since L1 is perpendicular to L2, that means that your slope is just the negative of the reciprocal of the slope of L2. Let us now get the slope of L2. Writing this in slope-intercept form, we get 3y is equal to negative x plus 6. Divide both sides by 3. So your y is negative x over 3 plus 2. So your slope, m2, is negative 1 third. So hence, the slope, m1, is equal to the negative of the reciprocal. So that's 3. So you already have your slope of 3 and your point 1, negative 2. The equation of the line is now y minus the y-coordinate is equal to the slope times x minus the x-coordinate. Hence, the equation of the line is y equals 3x minus 5. Lastly, let us discuss the distance of a point to a given line. Suppose that the general equation of your line is given by ax plus by plus c equals 0. Then, the distance of this point to this line is given by this formula. What is this saying? This means that in order to get the distance, this distance of this point p from this line, all you have to do is to substitute the x-coordinate for x here and substitute the y-coordinate for the y here. And then, for the denominator, you just get square root of a squared plus b squared. 
So for example, let us find the distance between the point 1, 1 and the line 2x minus 4 equals 3y. You have to get the general equation first. That means we just have to make one side equal to 0. So I have 2x minus 3y minus 4 equals 0. A is 2, your B is negative 3, and your C is negative 4. The distance is given by the absolute value of, what do we do? We substitute 1, 1 on this equation. So you have 2, your x is 1, minus 3 times y is 1, minus 4. All over square root of a squared plus b squared. So that's 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. So this is absolute value of 2 minus 3, negative 1, minus 4 is negative 5. All over, this is square root of 4 plus 9, 13. So this is 5 over square root of 13 or 5 square root of 13 over 13.